mixed into the tank is a makeup brand so clean you can sleep in it. Hi, I'm Fiona Ko Chan. I'm from San Francisco, California, and I'm here seeking $400,000 for 5% equity Ooh, in my wow. company. Sharks, believe it or not, I woke up like this. No, seriously though, <laughs> last night, I was so busy prepping for Shark Tank that I was way too tired to remove my makeup, a feeling so many of us know all too well. So I went to bed with makeup on my face, and I'm still looking as fresh as a daisy. No way. Wow. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Falling asleep with makeup on is bad for you, and it can cause a ton of breakouts. But don't worry, sharks. No breakouts here. Because I'm not wearing normal makeup, which can contain fossil fuels, liquid microplastics, and other nasty ingredients. I'm wearing Youth Euphoria. Makeup you can sleep in. Why? Because our beauty products are bio-based, meaning we're using plant-based, renewable ingredients which are great for your skin and good for the planet. We are best known for our BYO blush, the world's first color-changing blush oil that reacts to your skin's pH to give you the perfect shade. Let me show you. Simply apply on your cheeks, blend. Interesting to watch. Looks great. Sure does. Yeah. <laughs> Giving me the perfect shade and flawless finish. All right, now I'm all dolled up and ready for bed. <laughs> but don't sleep on this deal, sharks. Which one of you wants to cozy up with me and revolutionize the beauty industry? So in front of you is our BYO blush, our pregame primer, and our dewy hydrating lip glosses. Feel free to open it and try it for yourself. So it changes with your melanin, your skin, or whatever it is in your skin. The way that I like to think about it is that if you have a range of skin tones, this is just a little bit of pink. So if you're not going to interact with any undertones or anything like that, it will come through as the, the shade that's just most perfect for when you have like a natural flush. And so something that other makeups don't do? So in the flush category, typically what you've seen is just a solid color. But where it's difficult for a consumer is at matching the right undertone or making sure that it's the right shade. This is really cool. 400,000 for 5%, $8 million value. What I think I'm gonna love is your sales. I bet you have some. So in terms of our lifetime sales, we've done $2 million in wow. lifetime sales. Over what period of time? So we launched the business in April of last year. So we are just, we've just been around for a little nice bit over 16 wow. months. Good so for wow. you. Where are you, where are you selling? Where have you got your distribution from? So currently we sell on direct to consumer. That makes up about 50% of our business. And then we're also on Amazon. That's about 15% of our business. And then we're in wholesale. That's about 35% of our business. We're about to launch into Ulta with about two, 309 doors, and we're wow. about to launch at 13 Loon at JCPenney with an additional 300 doors. How did you invent this, Fiona? So, the, when I started the business, I had no experience in beauty. I come from a family of refugees. My grandparents fled China for Vietnam, and then my parents fled Vietnam for America. So the emphasis growing up was always have a very safe and stable job, so I went to Dartmouth, and then I started my career in the tech industry. I used to sell some of the most complicated software to data centers. That job led me to travel to some of the most polluted cities in the world, in Asia. Years before COVID, I would be sleeping in N95s, so I was flying back and forth between San Francisco and Asia, constantly sleeping my makeup, and my skin was always reacting because I was in these very polluted cities. And I realized that my normal skincare and makeup just wouldn't work. And I decided, you know what, I really wanna make makeup that, if I slept in it, it wasn't going to ruin my skin. But more importantly, I wanted makeup that acted like skincare, that if I wore it, it would make my skin better. I really wanted to create a universally flattering blush. And so I flew to Korea, met with some manufacturers. Many, many samples later, we have the one that we're using now. Can I ask you what it costs you to make it and what you sell it for? 
So our color changing blush is $36, our pregame primer is $38, and our dewy hydrating lip glosses are $26. And in terms of COGS, it is between 4 to $6 landed. It seems remarkable to me how much you've sold so quickly. When I first started the business, I just started making TikToks. Pretty much within two weeks, we started gaining some traction. And all I did was just show the color changing blush compared to like a powder blush. This was something that just started going viral. And we've been able to kind of sustain that. So 84% of our revenues right now has been through organic channels. If you blow up, you're, you're gonna need capital. Your margins are amazing. You're very impressive. I'll give you, I'll give you an offer, all right? I'll give you the 400,000 broken down this way. 100,000 for 20% equity. And any distributions come out of the business, any distributions, I get 20 cents, you get 80, okay? And then the other 300,000 is a loan against purchase orders at market rates, so I can fund your growth. It's a bet on the uh, jockey on this deal. I mean, you're really impressive. It's obvious that you're extremely driven, but grounded in reality. I just don't understand the benefits of the product. I don't understand the differentiation. It's just not for me. Good luck, but I'm out. I've sold cosmetics over the years, but I'm just not really big on oil. It's just a thing of mine. I wish you good luck, but I'm out. Thank you, Lori. I just wanna say that in addition to this is like the product lineup that we launched with. We are going to launch three additional shades that are non-color changing. I thought the changing. one shade was perfect for every skin. We got a lot of requests from our community to launch additional shades, and so this was something that I wanted to test out. I have to take you back to, to your original claim when you came in, which I found riveting, when you said it's makeup you can sleep in, and the second thing was it was a blush that would adjust your skin tone, but now you're telling me you're making three more shades, yeah. Um, I'm a little confused. It's not a product I'm totally clear on, honestly, so now. Okay, thank you so much, Barbara. You know, I don't know anything about this, but to Barbara's point, I was super curious because when you have something that's completely differentiated, you ride that mm. and you don't do anything else because that just dilutes your efforts. And sometimes you shouldn't listen to your customers. When you have something unique, you play that edge. And that kind of made me question where, how, how effective your primary product was. So for those reasons, I'm out. But you still have an offer from Kevin. Yeah, Fiona, as usual, all roads lead back to Mr. Wonderful. Now, I made you an offer, which I thought was uh, pretty good. So what do you say? I would like to counter, I think, let me give me a moment to think. <laughs> I think, would you come down to 8%? No, that's just not interesting. I mean, look, it's really early in a brutally competitive She's space. She's got $2.1 million in sales. That's not nothing in a year. But I'm Mr. Wonderful. I wish I knew a lot about this space because I think this could be the real deal and you could use some guidance on it. Well, Mark, you can come back in. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, it's, you know, look, I, I think you have a bright future ahead of you, but that, that's just not interesting. Maybe the problem is you ask for too much, and I'm trying to contort the deal to work with you in ways that make sense for me. She's also doing well on her own. I think you've upset him, actually. Would you be willing to do a royalty deal? Oh! I'm listening. I'm what listening. did you say? I'm listening. A royalty deal. I'm listening. Would you do $400,000 with a 50-cent royalty for every unit sold until $500,000 is paid back? for 5%. No, i tell you what I would do, though. The sweet sound of royalty gets me very interested. I do a deal at a dollar of royalty until I get back $800,000, so I double my money, okay? That's reasonable, and 10%. Would you be willing to lower the equity amount? Okay, here's a counter. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> no, wait, wait, would you do $400,000? She's for, doing fine. Leave her no, alone. No, Leave her alone. for me. Maybe my daughters are like this. I know they'll understand it, right? But I need more equity, right? Because you're getting three of us, Alyssa, Alexis, and Mark. Um, and Tiffany, my wife, too. So $400,000 for 10%, no royalty. Wow. Would you do it at 8%? No, because you're getting four of us. <laughs> $400,000 at 10%. I'm worth it. 
I'll even go do demos. You'll do demos? <laughs> yes. He's gonna look terrible with that makeup on. So the difference of 2%. All right, look, I'll, I'll do it at 7.5%, but I want, the, I want the royalty to go to a million at 75 cents just, a unit. Just to prove the point, I'll do it at 8%, no royalty. You got a deal. Done. <laughs> Whoa! What a great negotiator you are. Wow. Thank you, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Yeah, my daughter will be Oh, they're going gonna love nuts. it. Yeah, they're going nuts on it. it. Yeah. Congratulations. So, Kevin, you have to get up and leave the Shark Tank. Fiona's taking your chair. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, she isn't. Terrific, you did a great job. Wow. Hi, Fiona. I was a little bit surprised because first Mark went out and he had mentioned that he didn't understand the space, but I knew that he had daughters that would be interested in this product. I just had never seen him do a makeup deal, so I am so proud that we are his first makeup deal. Mark, that was a record. In 14 seasons, Mark Cuban has never invested in a makeup company. This nice. is true. Here he is. How good a negotiator was she? She was great. She was sticking she to was her guys. She was better than Mark. She was really she was marking. Than Mark. But I wasn't negotiating with her at the end. I was negotiating against Kevin. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs>